Right now, though, we want to dive into what exactly happened in Kannapolis today. We alluded to this before. Dozens had to leave their homes, many taken by rescue boat today after that heavy rain ended up bringing flooding to parts of Kannapolis. And so those evacuations we see primarily in those areas near creeks in low level areas. Folks are now sleeping somewhere else tonight. Yes, WCNC Charlotte Julia Kaufman joining us live from one of the most impacted neighborhoods off Tiffany Drive. Something we spoke about around the five o'clock hour. Julia, what's it looking out there right now? Has the water receded at all? It has a little bit, Vanessa, Colin. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the water is literally rushing behind us. That's because this mobile home community off Tiffany Drive backs up directly to Irish Buffalo Creek. And you can see houses are still sitting in several inches of water. And that water, like I said, has overflowed from the creek just beyond that tree line. But I will say, you know, this water earlier today, it was over the road and now it's receded from just a few hours ago. Neighborhoods near Kannapolis Lake and its surrounding creeks flooded fast Tuesday afternoon. It covered, it covered the, the road, road real fast and the water rose, rose it's like within minutes. minutes. A city spokesperson says no one was injured, but rising waters trapped about 30 people forcing first responders to rescue them by boat. It had already reached my my uh, my third step but by, we, in my, my front we door. We rafted all the way out here. <laughs> According to neighbors, flooding is common in this part of town. I used to see it all the time. But Clavette Danningbird and Joni Ledbetter say Tuesday is the worst they've ever seen it. It's scary. It's scary. Several roads in low elevation areas were shut down and officials asked residents to leave the area. But Danningberg was determined to stay to look for her outdoor cat. Ain't nothing stop me unless the good Lord uh, takes me. Now many are bracing for what's ahead. Cabarrus and Rowan counties are under a flood watch until Thursday. It's going to be sketchy. So the city was planning to have an emergency shelter for people impacted, but they say everyone that was impacted by the flooded water has accommodations, so they've closed that shelter. But be aware there are still several road closures to be aware of in Kannapolis. That includes here on Tiffany Drive, also Pine Street and Cadillac Street. Live in Kannapolis, Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte. Okay, Julia, thank you so much for those updates. Certainly a scary situation. Mm -hmm.